What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we got another gun video for y'all and today we're going to be showing y'all how to install the clip draw attachment to your gun. It's like a built-in holster without having to have a holster. You guys will see what I'm talking about in just a second. Okay and then you're going to want to take your slide off. And now once you got your slide off you're going to need to take the spring out. Put that to the side and take your barrel out and put that over here. Okay, and then if you look right here, you have a little button looking type thing up here at the top. So you're going to need to push that. Now, the clip draw kit comes with an Allen wrench in here. And you can use the Allen wrench to touch, push that button in and get it out. So, look, I'm going to show you guys. So you push this button in, see how it goes down? I don't know if you see that, see how it goes down? So you gotta push that in and slide this back plate off at the same time. Be easier if you push down on something. So we're pushing down on that pin, little button thing that I showed you, you see? As you can see, we got it off a little bit. So you just wanna keep working it off. You gotta keep this thing down though, it's the main thing. It's pretty hard, but once you get it, it's easy. It's easier to put it on than it is to take it off. Okay, so we got that pushed down again, and then we got to get our thumb in there and slide this out. Okay, so we got it off, and you got to watch because this thing's going to pop up a little bit. Okay, so after you get your little back plate off, this is what the back plate looks like. Just like that. So once you get that off, it should look like this. You got the little piece coming out right here. I'm not sure what this is called. And then you have this little locker thing in. Now this little locker piece, see how it's got that groove in it? You want to make sure that that groove is perfectly even with where your back plate slides in. So now you want to open up the stuff that the clip draw sent you and they're going to send you a back plate that's specifically made for your gun and it has these little holes so you can screw the clip draw piece on and this is what the clip draw piece looks like okay so you want to get the back plate that clip draw sent you and you got to make sure you get the one the kit that's made for your gun and you're going to want to take your allen wrench that they sent you and push this little locker piece one in see this one right here you gotta make sure that little cut is facing this way and you want to push that down and then you want to slide your new back plate on you got to make sure it's in this groove and you got to make sure this one's down so first you push down the big circle one and you can get it started in the groove Might take a couple tries, it's kind of hard. Okay, so once you got it started in the groove a little bit, it should look like that. You have to push this thing down right here to get it started in the groove. And then, now you want to focus on this one right here. So, you're going to want to make sure that this little cutout right here is facing perfectly even with the back plate and then you're going to want to push that down until it's flush see how that works so you're going to want to push this one down until it's flush while you're pushing right here to push this new back plate on and it should pop right in if it don't, you might have to push this down, mess this a little bit, just wiggle it. But once everything's all perfectly lined up, it's going to go in, no problem. So after you got that on, now comes the easy part. You want to get your clip draw piece that they sent you. And whatever side you want to carry it on, you're going to want to make sure you get that lined up and all that's right. So then, you're going to get it on there. Get one of your screws and one of the lock washers. I'll show you guys. So they send you a screw and a little bitty lock washer. You're going to want to make sure that that's on there. And then 
get your clip draw piece that they sent you put it right there get it lined up make sure you have your lock washer that is a main that's a major piece because if you don't have that lock washer when you shoot it it'll the screw will back out and once you get one started don't tighten it all the way up get your other screw and your other lock washer put those together and then get that one started once you got that one started now you can tighten it up get this one to where you feel it tighten just a little bit and then go back to the other one that you had tighten that one up okay and then you can go back to the other one make sure they're both snug you don't want to tight them so much they strip but you want to get them a little bit tight so you know they ain't going to come out when you shoot okay so that's what it looks like on the slide this is the clip draw you can hook this on your pants it works as like a holster without actually have a holster and carry that and have that extra stuff on you so the way you put it back together is you just put your barrel back in put your recoil spring back in and then put it back on the lower now it's ready to go it's ready to go and you have you a clip draw on there I think they're very cool I use this all the time and if you guys would like to get one I'll put a link in the description you can check it out don't throw away your old back plate because if you ever want to not use the clip draw or for some reason you need it you can put it back on that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this gun video on how to install the clip draw to your gun I hope you guys like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you guys have any questions about this accessory to your gun let me know in the comments and I'll get back with you and answer any questions that you have but like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.